Gas absorption is a gas-liquid mass transfer operation in which a component is transferred from gas phase to the liquid phase. It also used to separate gases by washing or scrubbing a gas mixture. Gas absorption unit has been used as a selective removal tool of one or more component from a gas mixture by a suitable liquid forming solution of the gas absorption. The rate of absorption determined by the rate of molecular diffusion that control the interface of mass transfer. The type of operation are physical and chemical absorption. The solute that enters the column in a gas is introduced at the bottom of the column while the solvent is filled at the top as a liquid. The solute is soluble while the carrier gas is insoluble in the solvent. The absorbed gas and solvent will leave at the bottom in the liquid solution while the unabsorbed carrier gas will leave as gas at the top of the column. The solvent can be regenerated by a process called desorption. To undergo this gas absorption experiment, firstly, ensure all valves are closed. The cylindrical recirculation vessel was filled and connected with pipe water until liquid level is satisfactory as preferred by lecturers and technicians. Selector valve SV1 was switched to connect to the column chosen. This experiment, only column 3 was used and the valve was adjusted as constructed from the lab manual. Next, the recirculation pump was turned on. Valve FCV4 was slowly opened to give the required flow rates of 0.5 liter per minute as medicated by F13. Make sure the fluid overflow from the urine is connected to a suitable drain. Valve V11 was opened and V7 was closed. The water fit valve was gradually opened until the desired flow rate is achieved. Let the water flow rate become stable for about 10 minutes after each change until it reaches the desired value. After that, open V3. The air flow rate was set by gradually open the feed valve PCV1 until it desired flow rate about 40 liter per minute was indicated in the flow rate meter F11. The water flow rate was allowed to stable for 10 minutes until the desired value is reached. When the steady state was reached, the CO2 flow rate was set by opening valve FCV2 gently until the CO2 rate 2 liter per minute was achieved. Allow another 10 minutes for absorption process to attain steady state. 20 ml of sample was drawn from the outlet valve V12 for every 5 minutes. The experiment was repeated for 60 liter per minute. For the titration process, the 0.01 m of HCl solution was prepared. 10 ml of sample is piped into 250 ml conical flask. 30 ml of solution 0.01 m NaOH is being piped into 250 ml conical flask that contains sample. 1 to 5 drop of phenolphthalein is added to the solution. The mixture of 0.01 mHCl is titrated. 
Once first permanent field pink appear, the titration is stopped. This is mean to determine the amount of unreacted NaOH with carbon dioxide in the sample mixture. The measure is repeated every 5 minutes. The result is recorded. The purpose of this gas absorption experiment was to know and to operate vapor which means the liquid separation process using a packed column gas absorption process unit and to analyze the percentage removal of carbon dioxide in absorption column. From doing this experiment, we finally get the value of carbon dioxide and also we can get the percentage removal of carbon dioxide we also can know the differences between the 40 liter per minute air fluoride and 60 liter per minute of air.